Oh, nice. Thank John, I don't like to ask favors of you, but yes? uh, after the show, uh, would you do me a favor? And there's a woman in the audience. Would you drive her home? <laughs> sure. Nice to see you. Yeah. <laughs> I've missed you. Yeah, I miss you. Nice to see you. And nice congratulations. See you. Oh, my God, you have a two-year-old. I do. A Way two and to and a half go. Two and a half-year-old. Thank you. Tell us all about that. Well, uh, you know, it was Father's Day recently, mm -hmm. and uh, I enjoyed the day, and I discovered that my daughter Ella was an incredible singer, but at the same time, I discovered that my two-and-a-half-year-old was a bar fly. I don't know what that means. I mean, well, I understand what, the singing part. Well, because uh, he, he, we were in the pool room that has a, has a, has a bar, and he said, uh, get, me a, get me a drink, Dad. And I said, okay. So I poured him a little apple juice, and he said, uh, down the hatch. <laughs> I said, okay. He said, cheers. He said, one for the road. I said, where, where did you learn that? Yes, he where said, did? I do not know. He said. <laughs> I figured it was probably Popeye or one of the cartoons yeah. or something. Yeah. You know. But uh, uh, so what do you guys do? We, uh, we you do gotta a lot get of, him out of the bar room. <laughs> you gotta get him out of the bar room. He, he's so uh, energetic. He's a little jock. You know, he loves to turn around. That's good. He loves to play sports. We play ball. We swim. Uh, a lot of pretending. Yeah. A, a lot of. Uh, now, does, that, does that get old? Or not the pretending. Well, you know, he. I don't know. I mean, he's two and a half. You yeah. Know? I enjoy. I look. I'm an old man now. You know. I, <laughs> I enjoy uh, playing w with him and making him happy. And as long as he's happy, I'm happy. Well, there you go. That's the key. Yeah. That's the whole equation right there. Yeah, that's right. How's the rest of the family? Well, uh, Kelly is spectacular. She keeps getting younger. Mm -hmm. And uh, my daughter Ella is amazing. As a matter of fact, she's, she's in the. Uh, in the, the uh, dressing room. I'm in the green room. Green room right, right here. Yeah. This is your door. Oh, is. hello there. Hi, Ella. Beautiful. Yeah. We. Uh, wow. We went to. She's. She it's is. A good-looking child. Spectacular. Yeah. Looking. We went to the Madonna party, and she got to meet Madonna's son. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Last night. Mm -hmm. That was a nice uh, treat for her. Do you? Do you uh, now I know you like to f to fly, and so oh, yeah. does, does the family fly with you, or does the family not fly with you? No, we we mostly fly as a family. Uh, Ella has been all over the world. Last week we were in uh, 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 Lima, Peru, and the week before that Geneva, one for Bombardier aircraft, one for Breitling watches, and. And then uh, this week for the promotion of Killing Season, so we go to London, we go to Prague. So the the family comes with me mm -hmm. when I whenever. Uh, That's just wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, it's, that, that, that it's, is like the best education, best investment one can have in a kid. I, I think is being able, agree. being lucky enough to travel with, yes, with yes. the kids. Yes, and, and when you, uh, now you're really a pilot. You're not just a guy <laughs> with a <Hope> hat. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can you can get in there and go. Huh? Well, I have 11 jet licenses. And, oh uh, my God, yeah. 11. 11, including the uh, 747, 707. Uh, now Me I, too. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, well, I know you do. Now what? And, and, uh, and uh, now I work for Bombardier Aircraft. I, fly, I represent the Challenger aircraft, which I personally fly, and, and I'm loving that as well. How many, how many, this is the key question, how many hours do you have? I have about 8,500. 8, well, oh, man, that's pretty good. Because yeah. as I recall, it used to be to be a commercial pilot, you had to have about 3,000 hours. Yeah. yeah. Well, so good for you. I've been doing it a long time. Yeah. You know, I went to your hometown recently. Indianapolis? Uh, you were there for the uh, uh, Super Bowl a couple yeah. of years ago. It was My a big God. success, wasn't it? It, it was a big. <laughs> you, you, you walk on water there, man. Oh my God! Everywhere I went, David Letterman, this, David Letterman, that. Really? I said, "Okay, enough with David yeah. Letterman." I said, "What about me? Pay attention exactly. to me." Exactly. Well, that, now you know Bolton, how I feel. It. That lady shooting her mouth <laughs> off out there. <laughs> what a, it, it was fun, though. It was, it was fun. To yeah, see. it's a great town, isn't it? And, and uh, uh, Peyton Manning really turned that into a football town. Uh, in the hotbed of basketball country, and now he's uh, playing for the. Uh, but you give it its glamour. Oh, I give it its glamour. You do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and its the, humor. The fact that I walk on water in Indianapolis says <laughs> less about me uh, than it does about the water in Indianapolis. <laughs> <laughs> Let me. Um, there's some photos. Uh, you at a wedding. You. Uh, I guess oh, yeah. this is you renewing your vows or something. What is this? What is going on here? It looks like it, it's Who is that woman, and what exactly is happening? Okay, what, what happened was this exactly. Uh, I was uh, in the Georgia for flight training. I have to do recurrency once a year for the, the different aircraft. Mm -hmm. 
And I, um, and I ran into the groomsmen and the bride and groom the night before at a restaurant bar, and I took pictures of them. They're, they're just there for the wedding? They were there for You're the there night for before the wedding, school. and I was there for flight school. Sure. I took pictures, they were very happy. And then the next day, I was late for class, uh, and the one groomsman was uh, in his uh, gray outfit, and, and he asked if I would pose with them. I said, I really can't, I'm late. late yeah. But when I turned around, I saw 16 guys do this, <laughs> I, I felt it just it took my of breath. Course. I thought, I, I, ha I cannot not take this. So I came back, they were gone, and in the back of the hotel, they were taking the formal wedding pictures. And uh, I posed with them, and they, they loved it. I was a hero in their eyes. And then before I left, I said, Do you know of a veterinarian in the area? And they said, uh, Yes, we could help you with that. I said, Good, because these puppies are sick. <laughs> Big laugh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I left them with a joke, yeah, is I my see. point. Where, see? I've never heard that before. <laughs> is that the picture? There you are, That's right the there. You see? Yeah. And what prompted it was, you see, is the, are the, yeah. the muscles bulging, so I thought, they must be looking mm -hmm. at my muscles. Exactly. And I thought, well, my muscles must bother them. Yeah, well, it's so the I better wedding, tell a joke about the them. wedding party and the bouncer. <laughs> 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 we'll be right back with John Travolta, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Let me, uh, thank you, Paul. At the risk of being tiresome, let me, let me ask you some questions. And, and you tell me if I'm onto something here. Okay. Uh, I remember years ago in some publication seeing pictures, and maybe you showed them on the program here. And you have a, a nice house uh, somewhere, mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> you look out the window of your house, and there's a, a 707. Yes. And you're looking, and I'm thinking, oh, geez, he, he lives... LaGuardia? Where is <laughs> I, I, I mean, do you still have the house that has I do. airplanes parked? The, the picture you saw of Ben was the, the living room area of that. But if you look out the windows, yeah, I, I still live there. And there's a 707 and, a, and now a Challenger 601. In Don't the, you hate the noise living there? Well, there's, there? There's only a few of us on the airport. <laughs> so, I, this, is, this is crazy stuff, isn't it? So you live on an airport yes. strip the way some people might live on a golf course. Exactly. Exactly. So in the morning, you wake up and you say to your wife, uh, I think I'll go to Denny's in Atlanta. <laughs> exactly. And, and you get in the damn plane and bang, zoom, you're gone. I do. Yesterday, I, came, I flew in to see you. And it was literally that, honey, I got to go. I got to do the Letterman show. And I zipped off. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so you don't need a car, do you? Not, not really. <laughs> <laughs> you walk out the door, get on the plane, and adios. That was the whole idea. Yeah, and, and, then, and then you come back and you land, and honey, I'm home. You reverse the thrusters, honey, I'm home. Exactly. Boom! <laughs> That's remarkable, isn't it's, it? And it's a lot of fun. Well, it must be. I mean, uh, uh, nobody else lives like that, do they? Well, I don't know. I mean, when I was a kid, I had this vision, even at 13 years old, of, of this life, of, of how I've established it. And, and, you know, dreams sometimes come true. Well, yes, congratulations on that. I mean... <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> the Wright brothers didn't live that close to airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's talk about... Uh, um, uh, well, you know, what's his name? Uh, uh, you know who Mr. Robert? De Niro. Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro, okay. Uh, had you worked with him before? I hadn't. I had met him... Years and years ago, and we'd been friends, uh, you know, you know, throughout the years. But this is mm -hmm. the first time I actually got to do a movie mm -hmm. with him, and it was a, it was a really. Uh, terrific we talked experience. to a lot of people about working with him, and a lot of people. Uh, I can't imagine this being your case. A lot of people are, are a little uh, scared, a little intimidated. That's not the case with you working with Robert. No, no, because you know, Robert truly years ago changed the whole. He raised the bar for actors, you know, and he did Raging Bull, and he did uh, New York, New York, where you really became a boxer, you really became a sax player. And at that time, I really became a, a dancer in Saturday Night Fever because that's how you did it, you see? Right. And, thank you. And, and so, 
you know, uh, when I, I, I said, you know, I better get my act together. I'm, gonna, I'm working with uh, the guy who, who you know, changed the playing field a bit. Yeah. So I, this film that we did together, uh, I play a Serbian soldier, ex-soldier. He plays an ex-U.S. soldier. And I went to, to Croatia, Serbia, and Bosnia, and I interviewed people, and I studied the accent, you know, intensely. And, and I came back with my homework done, and we rehearsed the film, and we filmed it. And it's a terrific movie. It's very, very powerful. Now, now tell me about the, the accent. E, e, to my ear, would I notice a difference between a, a Serbian accent and an accent from the old Soviet Union or an accent from it's, anywhere? There, there in are Eastern overlays Europe? in it, uh, you know, uh, but uh, there's a little bit of a, a change. The, the R's roll a little differently, mm -hmm. and the, the placement in your mouth might be a little uh, different. But, uh, uh, you know, uh, you, you have to ask the Serbians and the Bosnians. Uh, yeah. You know, whether you got it. But yeah. let's get back to uh, Saturday Night Fever. Uh, that would have been a completely different movie if you didn't know how to dance. <laughs> <Wouldn't it? I> mean, <laughs> yeah. It's just completely that? different. <laughs> well, you, you know, uh, what's funny is that I, I cried when I saw the movie because when I first saw it, it was cut in close ups. Mm. And I said, but I worked nine months on this. Yeah. You can't do it in close ups. Yeah. So we, we reversed it and put it in masters. So I could show off a bit, yeah, you know. I would think so for guys. Because these puppies are sick. Uh, uh, <laughs> don't let him come to your wedding. Uh, uh, so, so anyway, now you're working with Robert. Are you, are you guys buddies, you and Robert? I'll yeah, last year we traveled the world. His family and I, we went around really? the world together and I'll tell you had something, a blast. In all honesty, he was on this show a year ago. He yeah. came on with Dustin Hoffman. And he couldn't have been more peculiar. <laughs> Paul, back me up. Couldn't have been more peculiar. Thank you. <laughs> so, now, John, oh, yeah. now, now tell me, what is that? Is it me? Well, the, the, there may be, there, you know, the truth is, some people are more comfortable doing this kind of thing than, than others. I'm mm -hmm. very comfortable. I adore you, and I'm very comfortable with our rapport. Well, that's very sweet of you to say, and, and, and I, feel, I feel the same, and thank you very much. But if you are that uncomfortable, well, stay home. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to promote the movie, you see. You've got, you've got to promote but, you the know, movie. But, you know, I feel the same way about Robert De Niro, um, in different perspective, perhaps, th than you do. We were just crazy to get him on the show. Couldn't wait to get him on the show. Been trying to get him on for 30 years. And then he, he comes on like uh, he's a paid escort at a bad cocktail party. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was awful. Well, he just, it was doing a lot of this. <laughs> I gotta get what, what, what I gotta crazy. Well, hopefully we'll we'll make up for it in this movie. I don't know. <laughs> so you and the Dineros travel the world. We did, we did, and and uh, we, we do. Was have... it to promote the movie or just for fun? No, it's just just for fun. Just for fun. Yeah. <laughs> And you got along fine. You had stuff to talk about. Yeah, and uh, you know, and uh, there, there's a more serious side to this too. We we both had, you know, he has an autistic son. I had an autistic son, and we were helping each other with tips uh, and how to deal with that. So there was a there was some. Well, depth now, to... now I I feel horrible because no, 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 because that's that's a wonderful thing. And and forget everything I said. And I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be mouthing off like that. I'm sorry. Well, this is a very serious thing. And, and, and God bless people uh, who endure this. Yeah, well, we, 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 yes, thank you. Uh, but, uh, but we, you know, we, we uh, and he loves traveling. I mean, Bobby loves being in airplanes as much as I do, mm -hmm. uh, except I, I like being up front, mm -hmm. you know, and. Uh, Funny enough, uh, none of that came up the night he was here. <laughs> Well, it's nice to see you. I'm glad everything's uh, going well for you. Well, and uh, the you. movie comes out uh, July 12th. What are you going to do this summer? The fun stuff? Oh, well, it start, started last week in Lima. Now I go, I'm Tell here. What are you doing in Lima? Uh, for Brightling Watches. I was uh, doing promotion for them, and I got an award from the, the naval um, officers uh, in, um, in Lima. Uh, the their, Peruvian Navy their, gave you an award? Yes, for, uh, for flying, for achievement. The Peruvian flying. Navy gives him an award. <laughs> I, I can't get an award from Old Navy. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 oh, my. 
I'm getting an award from old are you gonna Are you going to show my clip? <laughs> yes, we're going to show the oh, clip. Oh, good. Just, just relax. Now, here's the thing. I'm trying to get to, uh, I'm trying to, get to New Zealand. <laughs> You want to ride? Can you, can you get me to New Zealand? Uh, you know, they, I told you before I adore you, and, and if you need a ride to New Zealand, I will give you a ride. Would there be, there be a, a meal service on the flight and stuff? <laughs> yes, yeah. a, a fine one, too. As a matter of fact, uh, I, I'll tell you a little a, a dinner story that I had with Bobby. Let's hear it. I promised him... Bobby! <laughs> I, I, I said, I, I, as a treat, I will not fly uh, on this uh, leg that we flew, uh, and I will, I will have dinner with you, and I will give you a martini to start, mm. which we enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, a, a beautiful dinner and, and a, a bottle of wine, and then, and then I put him to bed in this little, uh, this little, you know, these little sections that I section off the plane with, and he woke up in New York, and he was uh, so impressed. So I will do the same for you. I will wine and dine you all the way to New Zealand. Okay. If you so choose. Yeah. Right. Let's practice. I want, the, <laughs> I, want the, I want the Bobby De Niro service. <laughs> uh, uh, but, but, but so, so no, and what, what aircraft will this be? The, uh... Well, it, it, your choice. It could be, really, I get to pick the plane. You could be, it could be the Challenger. Let's do the Challenger. Let's do the Challenger. That, and I, I would love Going to, to New Zealand. do that. Looking forward to that. We're on our way. Yeah. Now, um, we could bring our kids. Bring the kids. Bring everybody, yeah. for God's sake. I think Harry would love it. Uh, oh, Harry would. Uh, he oh, would love it. But, uh, have you ever been to Easter Island? Mm-hmm. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's see this uh, movie. Uh, it's uh, Killing Season. Uh, John has explained what it is, and it opens July 12th. The perfect thing to see in the middle of the summer. What do you what, tell us? What it is? Well, basically, uh, before this uh, turning of the tables here, De Niro's character thinks that I'm just a friendly tourist. That he's, you know, become friends with. What you don't know is that they have a past. Mm -hmm. They're both been war criminals, and they both are a little off balance, and uh, hurting from warfare. And uh, so this is where uh, he discovers that I'm maybe here for right. a different uh, trophy than, than a, a, a deer. Yes, it's not by accident that you uh, appear in his life. It is not by accident. Okay.